like a swarm of locusts. The Mongol horde emerged from the east, driven by a madman named Genghis Khan. When we first heard the rumors of their approach, we thought the Mongols were but mere bands of raiders, not unusual on the steppes. But when spies from the east told us that the Mongols had utterly destroyed the Persian Empire, putting its civilians to the sword and burning its cities to ash in three short years, we realized that we had severely underestimated them. Not much later, our own people faced this new scourge. Our Kipchak brethren to the east fought bravely, but were easily defeated, and several of their Khans were captured. The Mongols buried the Kipchak Khans alive underneath a podium on which the Mongol commander, Subatai Bahadur, sat to celebrate his victory. The Mongols called it an honorable death, only reserved for nobility and royalty. I believe that these Mongols are evil demons sent to torture us. Only the western part of our once mighty confederation remains, and with it, the great Cumania has become a mere shadow of its former self. However, one of the Khans, Gontyo, recognizes our peril and is rallying all of the tribes to unite against the invaders. Putting aside his pride, he has turned to our sworn enemies, the Rus, and is asking them to join the fight. They may be hostile towards us, but we have no other choice. The Mongols will scourge this earth and enslave everyone on it. Let us hope that the Rus princes come to realize that too, before it is too late. Mighty Khan, I was unable to convince the human chiefs and Rus princes to fight against the Mongols. You will have to meet them in person. Blood of Tatar and Mongol horsemen. I got to be on our side in the upcoming battle. The Mongols took one of our princes hostage. Save him, and we will join your vote.
a band of human horsemen. You are the last saviors that I could have expected. My father is an horned man. Free me, and my people will be in your debt. We have convinced all of the tribesmen to join. And to stand a chance against the Mongols, we will need the help of our Rus neighbors. Word for you, Vitarara, Kiev. You have the blessing of the prince. Fair enough. Bring your warriors to me, and I will heal them. started attacking our people, and they have blocked an important supply route for the north. Destroy the blockade, and we will talk. Soldiers will fight alongside the humans. At least for now. We have raised as many men for our army as we can. Now, we must destroy the encampment from which the Mongol vanguard operates. You petty nomads know nothing about sieges. Thankfully, our engineers have constructed ramps to batter down the enemy fortifications. Oh, how I would like to twist the little necks of these arrogant
were not easy to persuade. However, when news reached the Rus princes that a large Mongol army was riding west toward the Nipa River, they accepted Gotian's offer. Now, a united army of Rus soldiers and human horsemen stand together to face the incoming Mongol horde. It is a magnificent sight to behold as our combined armies march to meet the Mongols on the field of battle. Beams of sunlight dance on the shields of the Rus foot soldiers, the full body armor of the boyars, and the iron-clad human horsemen. If this odd coalition of Rus and humans can stand united, we might have a chance of withstanding this scourge from the east. 